Well, our Lord here is teaching us that if we receive from whomever we receive it, that the true word of God, that is the gospel itself, we will have a reward and it is beyond our imagining because of course it's eternal life. So he's telling us we must receive him who is the eternal word. And if we receive him within our hearts, we receive him. We live and act on what we receive. We will bring ourselves to eternal life. That is, he will bring us there. He is telling us we must live a life, in a word, a life of holiness, to be holy, to be a, live a life according to God. Here we celebrate one who did just that, in spite of difficulties. Sincarate Kakwitha, one of our own Native Americans. Who was born in the state of New York, but was not a Christian, was born into an Indian family in Oursville. And then, but as with the aid of a, a Christian mother who had, become, had received the faith, she too then, at the age of 20, received the faith. She was baptized in a town called Fonda, just down this, the highway from Auriesville. Auriesville, we're all familiar with. We know the great Amer North American Martyr's Shrine. Fonda's just down the highway from there, so where she was baptized, and you can still see the layout of the town where she was. And they go up the side of the hill to the river where she was baptized at the age of 20. But of course, receiving the faith, being the princess of the Inter Indian tribe, and now being, she'd lost her parents to smallpox and had actually contracted the disease herself, but survived it. And now was under the care of an uncle who was the chief and who was not a Christian. So life for her was very difficult. So she was taken from there by the Jesuit missionaries and taken up to Canada, where she continued to live that faith that she had just received. In spite of, again, difficult, she, she was given to teach that faith to the children in the mission in Canada where she resided. And then was accused of unchastity and suffered greatly, but maintained herself in all things quietly, calmly, and was exonerated eventually, and continued to live a life of true, pure holiness and virginal chastity. She maintained that all her life, of 24 years. She died at the age of 24. She is one who received the word, so I says our Lord is saying here, and then lived it out to a T, actually heroically, in spite of persecution, suffering, she continued to live it out, a complete union with God, with our Lord. And it led her to salvation, led her, led her to sainthood. <coughs> and by living a life of holiness, it, it will lead us to our salvation as well. It will lead us, even if we're not recognized as saints as St. Catherine is, Yet, once you're in heaven, once you're in paradise, that is sainthood. And that's exactly what every one of us is called to. Let us lead a life of holiness, which is going to mean a quiet acceptation of whatever sufferings and trials it brings. But continue, in spite of all that, to lead a life of holiness, in silence, in prayer, in union with God. It will lead us to sainthood. Praise be Jesus and Mary.